Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and in this video I will solve problem D from round 796 uh, and I will also upload problems A, B and C soon uh, so stay tuned for that uh, also I have been away for a while because I had my semester exam going on uh, so I was not that active uh, but I will try to upload uh, more videos from now on uh, so yeah that was for the intro uh, so let's get started with the problem so in the problem, we have been given n points with some mushrooms. We have been given n points with some mushrooms. So we have some points like these, and uh, we have uh, a one mushrooms here, a two mushrooms here, a three, a four, a five, and so on till a n. Uh, in one move, we can eat uh, any number of. Uh, we can eat my mushrooms at any point. So let's say I eat my mushrooms at point A two. After I eat the mushrooms, uh, one one mushroom will be added to each point. So one one mushroom will be added to each point. So something like this. Uh, and in one move, I can either move left, uh, either move either move left, either move right, or I can stay at the same point and eat the eat the same mushroom again. Uh, so we have to tell the maximum number of mushrooms that we can eat uh, given that we have k moves given k moves we will tell the maximum number of mushrooms that we can eat so to solve this problem i can break it into two sub parts so let's begin to sub parts so we'll first solve the problem sub part one or case one you can say uh, where k is less than n when k is less than n so when k is less than n uh, the, the number of moves required will be uh, obviously less than n so if my array is something like this let's call this a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 so on till a n let's say i start at any point uh, let's say start at a3 and let's say i choose to eat a3 when i eat a3 it will become zero and one will be added to all the points so this will become one one plus one plus one plus one so on uh, so now i will move to a4 let's say i eat a4 now right i will also eat this and now this will become plus one plus one plus one plus one so on and so on now you can see that uh, it never makes sense to move back to a3 right because my a3 has plus 2 here but my a5 also has plus 2 here my my a, my a5 also has plus 2 but, but my a3 only has plus 2 but my a5 also has some positive number a5 here right so you can easily say a5 plus 2 is greater than 2 right so it is never optimal to go back so if i have uh, come from a3 to a4 it is never optimal to go back it is never optimal to go back so i i will just move to a5 right i will just move to a5 and i will eat a5 so so the observation here is observation is it is never optimal to go back so we will just eat we will just eat k mushrooms or k points in a row right so if my array is a1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, so on till An. I will eat k points in a row. So I will eat like A2. I will either eat A2 to A2 plus k, something like this, right? So I will eat k points in a row. I will eat k points in a row. Oh, sorry for this. Right? I will eat k point. Uh, I will eat k points in a row so let's try to see the answer for that so if i if i am eating k k points in a row so let's say i eat a2 a3 a4 so until k moves so first of all i will eat a2 right it will increase one everywhere right 
and my answer will be a2 then i will eat a3 plus 1 answer will be a3 plus 1 and it will add plus 1 everywhere then i will eat a4 plus 2 and it will become a4 plus 2 and so on i will keep eating for k moves so in the end answer will be uh, a2 plus k minus 1 plus k minus 1 so you can see there are two factors here one is a fixed factor and one is a variable factor so i can remove my fixed factor first so my fixed factor is 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to k minus 1 and it will give me k into k minus 1 by 2. So it is my fixed factor. Now I just want to maximize my a2 plus a3 plus this factor, right? So now I just want to maximize my ai plus ai plus 1. So until ai plus k minus 1. So I just want to maximize this factor now. maximize this factor and it's fixed right so you just want to find uh, any any sub array of length k that has the maximum sum so it's basically the answer so the answer here is uh, maximum sum sub array of length k plus your fixed factor what is a fixed factor a fixed factor is k into k minus 1 by 2 right so that was answer for your sub first part uh, that was answer for for your uh, sub part one when k is less than that so now let's try to solve this for when k is greater than that So uh, let's try to solve this for subpart two now, where k is greater than or equal to n. So in this part, we'll be able to eat all the n mushrooms, right? If we have a one, a two, a three, a four, so on till a n, I will be able to eat all the n mushrooms because I have a move a k which is greater than n, right? So I I will be able to eat all the n mushrooms. So I will be able to eat all n mushrooms or you can say points it's better to say points we'll be able to eat all n points now we want to maximize now we want to maximize the extra mushrooms that we eat we want to ma maximize the extra mushrooms that we eat right because we have moves uh, we have more more moves than n so we will be definitely able uh, we will definitely eat all the n points now we just want to maximize the extra mushrooms that we can eat in k moves so uh, i think uh, here is some like uh, you need some intuition here uh, so to come up with the approach that will help you maximize this you can try uh, three or four hit and tries and i think you will soon land it at an approach that will work for you right so here is how i thought about this so i will explain how how, uh, how i thought about this right so if you have a1 a2 a3 a4 so until the end uh, you are applying k moves right you are applying k moves so there are uh, n points and each point spawns one extra mushroom in one move right so in total in total n into k total mushrooms will be spawned right in total n into k total mushrooms will be spawned and you want to eat maximum and you want to eat maximum of them So uh, here you had to try some hit and trial kind of thing, right? Uh, so some kind of brute force approach uh, that would help you to eat maximum number of 
मैसे कौन सी राइट सो हाउ आई थॉट अबाउट दिस वॉज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई ट्राई टू लीनियरली ट्रेवल्स दी आई सो इफ आई हैव समथिंग लाइक दिस and let's say i have uh, 3 n by 2 moves so first of all i will move to the end right and when you move through the array uh, in the end here here will be n mushrooms there will be n minus 1 mushrooms n minus 2 n minus 3 and so on and here it will be one mushroom in the end then you have eaten all the n mushrooms now you have used your n moves now you have n by 2 moves left so now you will come back you will come back n by 2 steps but the thing you can see here is the number of mushrooms there is n like the the number of mushrooms have grown up to n but you are not able to go back to eat that right very large number of extra mushrooms right we have very large number of extra mushrooms here also when you are coming back n by 2 Uh, here you can all, uh, again add n by two here, right? N by two will also be added here. So you can see there are there are very large number of extra mushrooms on the left side, but you don't have enough moves to come back and eat them. You don't have enough moves to come back and eat them. So you can easily see th this is not very optimal. So it is not optimal to like just go back and forth in the area. So you have to find some other approach. So the approach that works is. so the approach that works is the so it's the solution i told you the starting right that uh, we have three possible moves either we can move right either we can move left or we can stay at the point so now we can make use of the operation of staying at the point so how can we use that let's see so what i will do is i will uh, start at my point a1 and i will just stay here i will stay here until i have n minus 1 moves left I will stay here until I have n minus one moves left. Why am I doing so? Because it will help my uh, help my mushrooms to grow. All my mushrooms here will grow very fast, right? All my mushrooms here will keep growing. They will keep growing. They will keep growing, right? And in the end, when I have n minus one moves left, I can just traverse through the array once, and I can uh, and I can eat all of them. so it is better than the previous approach obviously because in the previous approach we allowed the mushrooms to grow but we did not have enough moves to go back and grab them all right but in this approach we are waiting at the starting point and we are allowing the mushrooms to grow and then when they have uh, grown sufficiently and we have n minus 1 moves left we will traverse through the array once and eat all the mushrooms So now let's uh, count the number of mushrooms that we eat here. So for that we will do some math stuff. So let's count that. So in total, like I told you, we have k moves. So we have n into k total mushrooms. And a one, a two, a three. We are moving through the array once, right? So also my k is greater than equal to n. Lag is had in the beginning, so we will obviously able to eat all a ones, a twos, and a threes. So my answer will obviously contain a one, a two, a three, up to a n. Now I just want to count the number of extra mushrooms that I will eat. So when I have n minus one moves left, I will start traversing the array. So when i go from uh, a1 to a2 i will have two mushrooms here and i will have one mushroom here when i go from a2 to a3 i will have one mushroom here this one will become two and this two will become three similarly when i move to a4 it will become four here three here two here one here and similarly and similarly when i reach an my array will look something like this i will have n mushrooms here n minus 1 here n minus 2 and one mushroom at the end so i am not able to eat so i am not able to eat 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n that is n into n plus 1 by 2 mushrooms so i am not able to eat these many mushrooms we are not able to eat these 
so in total you had n into k extra extra mushrooms and we are not able to eat n into n plus 1 by 2 of them so my answer will be obviously answer is a1 plus a2 plus a3 so on till an plus my total mushrooms that are n into k and the mushroom that i'm not able to eat that is n into n plus 1 by 2 and that will be your answer for your second part so i think i've explained enough uh, so if i have to summarize once again uh, there will be two there there, there will be two sub parts one is when k is less than n the answer for this is maximum maximum sum sub array of length k plus k into k minus 1 by 2 and when k is greater than or equal to n your answer is equal to summation of a i plus n into k minus n into n plus 1 by 2. So these will be your two, uh, these will be your two mathematical formulas for your answer. So if you want to see the code for this, I don't think there is anything like uh, too flashy here. Like these are just the, just the mathematical formulas. And uh, if you guys have a doubt, do ask me in the comments and I will try to help you out. Also, if you guys don't know, Continue Newton School is offering a full stack development course. The course is uh, over six months long and it is totally based on pay after placement model and you don't have to pay anything. There is zero hidden fees, there is zero upfront fees and they are granting you a minimum package of rupees 5 lakhs and the average package is rupees 7 lakhs and the highest package is over rupees 26 lakhs. So it is a very great opportunity. Also, all their mentors are from top MNCs like Google, Flipkart, Zomato, etc. Also, they will get you placed into the top MNCs as well, like Google, Flipkart, Zomato. Uh, so, uh, you can learn from the mentors that are working at those companies and you can land a job at those companies yourselves. Also, you don't need to worry if you guys think that I don't coding, I fresher, The course is over six months long and they will teach you from scratch so you can still sign up for this and if you guys are looking for a career in the tech field this is a very uh, this is a very great head start that you should sign up for and if you uh, want to land a job i highly uh, i highly vouch for this and uh, if you guys want to sign up there will be a link down below and you can go and sign up from there so yeah be sure to sign up for this and i will see you in the next video bye bye